Good morning, Year 2, and welcome to your Tuesday reading lesson. It's me again now for the rest of the week as Mr Gardner is back in school and I will be doing your home learning videos this week and replying to all of your emails. I'm going to share my screen and let's get started on today's reading. OK, so we're carrying on with our Flat Stanley book and it's still written by the same author, Jeff Brown, this morning. Um, I want you to see if you can do a bit of research for me and see if you can find out um, any other books that Jeff Brown has written or any other Flat Stanley stories. And if you would like to read some of them over the next few weeks, that'd be brilliant. And let us know on our email as well. So let's get started with today's lesson. So the first thing we are going to do this morning is we're going to look at reading some words and we're going to decide which owl sound needs to go into the words. So remember, we use OU in the middle of a word and we hear the owl sound and we use OW at the end or if it's before a vowel or a final L or M. So not usually it's the OU in the middle, but if it's before a vowel or a final L or N at the end, then we would use OW. So I'm going to say the words to you. And as I say them, write them down and decide whether it's OU or OW. The first one is shout. How are we going to spell shout? Write it down. I'm going to give you 20 seconds. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so shout. We should spell shout with an O and a U. So that's how shout should look this afternoon, uh, this morning. So that's how shout should look. Right, next word crown. How are we going to spell crown? Remember, OU normally goes in the middle. If there's a final vowel or a final L or N after it, what's it going to be? Off you go. O-U or O-W? Crown. Crown. Okay, well done. And we should have spelt it crown in the middle with an O and a W in crown. Right, next one loud how are we going to spell loud remember what normally goes in the middle okay pause me if you need to fantastic right loud we normally spell it with an o and a u because normally it's o or u in the middle but in crown because it ends in an n and that's one of our special letters a final n or a vowel or an l then we use OW in the middle. And the last word I'd like you to write is now. How are we going to spell now? Is it going to be with an O and a U or an O and a W? Off you go. Okay, well done. And now we are going to spell it with an O and a W. Okay, fantastic. Well done. Brilliant. Right, so we're going to carry on with our retrieval skill this week, but we're going to be looking at question starters such as how and why. OK, we're going to be carrying on a little bit of our true and false as well, but we're going to be really focusing on how and why questions. So as we've talked about before, why questions, they really need us to give a reason. So we start with because and we give um, and a reason and understanding of why something happened and how is describing a process or a feeling or a method, it's describing describing the way something happened okay so how is more of a, that kind of process so steps to success today we're going to read the question we're going to find the key words in the question we're then going to find those same key words in the text we're going to read around the key words to find the answer and use any clues that we find to support those reasons and those answers and then we're going to write our answer as well okay let's get started Chapter four, The Museum Thieves. Thieves. Mr. and Mrs. O.J. Dart lived in the flat just above the lamb chops. Mr. Dart was an important man, the director of a famous museum of art in the city. Sam Stanley Lambchop had, had noticed in the lift that Mr. Dart, who was ordinarily, so that means most of the time, a cheerful man, had become quite gloomy. 
do you think gloomy means? Have a little think. What do you think gloomy means? Yeah, gloomy means really sad. So he was feeling a bit sad. But he had no idea what the reason was. And then at breakfast one morning, he heard Mr and Mrs Lambchop talking about Mr Dart. So Mr Dart was the famous museum, of, um, the director of the famous museum of art. Can you all remember what famous means? Yeah, that's right. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. So they've heard of it. So you're famous. People know who you are. So this museum of art in the city was really famous. Everyone knew about it. And Mr. Dart was the director of it. He was in charge of it. He looked after it. I see, said Mr. Lanchop, reading the paper over his coffee cup, that still another painting has been stolen from the famous museum. It says here that Mr. O.J. Dart, the director, is at his wit's end. And wit's end means fed up, doesn't know what to do next. Wit's end. And look at the newspaper. Museum art stolen again. So that's our text. So we've worked out this morning that we've got Mr. O.J. Uh, Dart. We, he's been introduced as a new character and he has... Um, He's in charge of the new of the museum in town and somebody is stealing all the paintings from this famous museum. He doesn't know what to do. And Mr. Lambchop's reading about it in the paper and Stanley hears him. And then Stanley thinks, oh, that's why Mr. Maybe that's why and he thinks that could be why Mr. Lambchop, um, Mr. Dart is feeling really gloomy and sad and why he's noticed that in the lift. So. How did the lamb chops know Mr. and Mrs. O'Shea Jet Dart? This is our first question. We're looking at a how. So again, it's kind of a reason, it's kind of a process, it's kind of a method, it's kind of a feeling, it's kind of a reason, sort of similar to why. So we're going to look for our keywords in the question. So pause your screen and write down which keywords from this question will help us in the text. Off you go. Okay, well done. So we're going to be looking for lamb chops. Mr. and Mrs. Lamb Chop. We're going to be looking for Mr. and Mrs. O.J. Dart as well. And we're going to look at how they know each other. So a reason of why they know each other. So let's go back to our text. And let's have a little look. So there we've got Mr. and Mrs. O.J. Dart and the Lamb Chops. OK, so I think it's going to be somewhere around here. So read um, and write down your answer of where um, of what, how they knew, how they know the um, Mr. and Mrs. O.J. Dart. Pause me now. Okay, well done. The answer you should have put is Mr. and Mrs. O.J. O.J. Dart lived in the flat just above the lamb chops. So my answer was they lived in the flat above. Why was Mr. Dart an important man? Again, pause the screen and find the key words from this question. Okay, well done. So we've got Mr. Dart, an important man. So there are key words we're gonna be looking for. We're gonna be looking for a reason why he was important. So Mr. Dart, important man. So it's gonna be somewhere around here of why he was an important man. Off you go, read, pause me and write down your answer. Okay, well done. Mr. Dart was an important man, the director of a famous museum of art in the city. So why was he an important man? Because he was the director of a museum in the city. museum in the city. So well done if you got that answer right as well. Okay, so now you're going to carry on doing some more how and why questions. This is your task this morning. So the first questions we're going to do together, so I'm going to read them to you. Um, you can pause the screen and write down your answers and then I will go through the answers in a couple of minutes. So how had Mr Dart changed recently? Why was it weird for Mr Dart to be gloomy? How did Stanley find out about the art museum? Why was Mr. Dart at his wit's ends? How did Mr. Lambchop find out about the news? 
So pause the screen now and have a go at these questions. Okay, well done. Let's do the first one then. So how had Mr. Dart changed recently? So how had Mr. Dart changed recently? We're thinking of how he changed, how his behaviour had changed. And what was that word that Stanley had used? Let's go back into the text. And if we hear Miss Stanley Landrop had noticed in the lift that Mr. Dart, who was ordinarily, so normally a cheerful man, had become quite gloomy. So he had changed because he had become quite gloomy. So well done if you put white. Why was it weird for Mr. Dark to be gloomy? So why was it not normal? Why was it weird? Why was it odd for him to be gloomy? And we've kind of already read that. But if we go back, it's because he was ordinarily a cheerful man. So he was normally cheerful. So the reason is because, so well done if you put that, because he was normally cheerful. How did Stanley find out about the art museum? So let's find our keywords. We've got Stanley and we've got the art museum. And let's have a little look. Or we could put Mr. Dart in there as well. Stanley. So it might be around this bit. And we've got the art museum on here as well. So let's have a little look around here at why it was. And then at breakfast one morning, he had Mr. and Mrs. Lambchop talking about Mr. Dart. I see, said Mr. Lambchop reading the paper over his coffee cup, that still another painting has been stolen from the famous museum. So the reason was he heard, heard, Mr. Lambchop talking. Why was Mr. Dart at his wit's end? So let's find that key word, wit's end. And there's Mr. Dart as well. And why was he at his wit's end? Another painting has been stolen. Okay. So the reason he was at his wit's end was because another had been stolen. How did Mr. Lambchop find out about the news? So let's go back to our text. How was he finding out about the news? Let's find Mr. Lambchop. I see Sir so Mr. Lambchop reading the paper. So he was reading the newspaper. So that should have been your answer. Or well, that one. Reading the paper. Okay. The next part of our reading session is you've got some true or false to do and then a prediction. So, Mr and Mrs Dart lived in the flat below the lamb chops. Stanley saw Mr Dart in the lift. They heard about the museum on the radio. Which ones are true or false? Um, and have a go now. Pause the screen. Okay, well done. So, Mr and Mrs Dart lived in the flat below no, they lived in the flat above the lamb chops. So this one, this one is false. Okay, Stanley saw Mr. Dart in the lift. That is true. They heard about the museum on the radio it will be false because they heard about it in the newspaper. And then your prediction that you can have a go at doing now is how do you think they might solve the crime? How might Stanley help them? Okay. And pause the screen and send your answers to year two at thepalmacademy.com. Now, finally, for a stretch today, for a challenge, can you write a newspaper article using the reading, but using your own ideas as well, explaining what had happened at the art museum? So here you've got your headline, museum art stolen again, you've got a picture, but see if you can fill in what you think these things might say. And you can add your own information and your own ideas as well and send any work that you do like that to year two at thepalmeracademy.com. Have a lovely morning and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.